check out the amazing weight loss transformation of this beautiful nine-year-old dog named Nina. It only took two weeks to change this dog's life. And I mean that literally, because by doing this, I might have actually extended her life by years. That's right. Even dogs that are just a bit chubby, like Nina used to be, have been shown to die almost two years earlier than Nina dogs. So, do you want to know how I was able to transform Nina's life in just two weeks? Then keep watching. Hi, I'm Ingen, the Viking who digs dogs, and I'm here to spread the raw truth about weight loss, nutrition, and longevity for dogs. I spent some time in Brazil recently, visiting a family that has a miniature pincher called Nina. When I arrived, Nina was overweight. Not obese, and some people probably wouldn't have even considered her overweight at all. However, she was what is considered to be moderately overweight, which is why it was vital that she lost the excess fat, even though she was just a bit chubby. Here's the thing. There's a scientific study that was done on 48 laboratory retrievers that found that even moderately overweight dogs die almost two years earlier than leaner dogs. This is what a moderately overweight dog looks like compared with a leaner dog. And if you compare that with what Nina used to look like, don't you agree Nina used to be moderately overweight? And knowing that a dog that looks like this may actually die years too early, don't you agree it was vital for Nina to lose the excess fat? Now before I tell you the secret to Nina's weight loss transformation, which only took two weeks, let me tell you something that I think you'll find quite interesting. While Nina was overweight, guess what she used to eat? A low calorie obesity treatment dry dog food. That's right, she was actually on a weight loss diet for obese dogs and still she was clearly overweight. Actually, that shouldn't really come as a surprise if you know what dry dog food consists of and why loads of dogs around the world get fat in the first place. So, knowing that Nina's life was on the line, I decided to take matters into my own hands. And in just two weeks, Nina went from being overweight and at risk of an early death to a lean, happy, healthy looking dog. As you may see from the before picture, her belly area was basically the same size as her chest. She pretty much looked like a sausage. After just two weeks, she was so nice and lean, she looked years younger. Kind of like a lean sausage. She had turned into a lean, healthy looking dog with the proper waist, just like a dog should look like. Now, what did Nina and I do to achieve this amazing transformation, you might ask? She was already on an obesity treatment dog food, so did I just reduce the amount of food she was being fed? No, not at all! The biggest and most important thing we did was to completely change Nina's diet. And I'm talking about the actual food here, not just the amount. There are countless reasons why dry commercial dog food can make dogs fat and even contribute to diseases and shortening dogs' lives. I'm not just talking about the synthetic vitamins, coloring agents, fats turning rancid once you open the bag, ingredients that disrupt dogs' metabolism. There's more and simply too much to go through in detail here. For dogs to lose weight in an effective, natural and safe way, they should eat a highly nutritious, natural diet free from all unnecessary, harmful foods. Just think about it. Does it even make sense for dogs to eat something that's highly processed and that frankly doesn't even look like food at all? It's not like our dogs can cook for themselves anyway. And we know that for us humans, eating a diet full of processed foods is very unhealthy. So why do so many of us feed our dogs highly processed foods every single day of their life? Doesn't it make more sense for our dogs to eat something natural, like whole foods? That's what we humans are being told is the healthiest as well. And it makes sense. It's the most natural thing there is. I mean, what do you think dogs would eat in the wild? Think about it. 
What does it really make sense for a dog to eat? Meat, right? Now, you may be thinking, what does this have to do with weight loss? Well, here's the thing. It's way more important to feed a diet rich in the most important nutrients for dogs than to restrict calories, even for dogs that need to lose weight. And what's most nutritious for dogs to eat is what they have been designed to eat. Only restricting calories could cause more harm than good if the diet has poor nutrition. And that could be the case even with the most fancy looking commercial dog foods. In fact, dogs don't even need to go on a low fat diet to lose weight. Nina certainly didn't. Though that depends on the dog's exact diet because there are nutrients that when fed together with fat can boost weight gain, which of course is not desirable. Anyway. The bottom line is that our dogs need nutrients and providing enough nutrition by increasing the nutrient density may enable dogs to both lose weight as well as stay satisfied. And the best way to accomplish all of this is to take matters into your own hands and prepare your dog's food yourself, just like I did for Nina. And just so you know, preparing homemade meals for your dog can be super simple and easy. It doesn't need to be as complicated as, as some people out there make it seem. You don't need to add a bunch of silly stuff like blueberries, turmeric paste, coconut oil, green beans, chia seeds, sesame seeds. Come on, it's a dog you're feeding. Just cut the BS. The key is to keep it simple. If you do that, it can even take as little as 5 minutes a day to prepare your dog's homemade, highly nutritious meals. If you're willing to spend maybe 1-2 to two hours every other week to prep. And if there's a chance this small effort could extend your dog's life, isn't it worth it? The crucial part is that you do it correctly. Even with the best intentions, some people have even lost their dogs because they just didn't know what they were doing. So please, make sure you do it correctly. If you do, you may even see some amazing changes in your dog that you wouldn't even dare to dream of. Maybe even extend that furry friend of yours life? Plus, I'm pretty sure your dog will love you for it. So, the secret to Nina's weight loss that once again only took two weeks was that I fed Nina a highly nutritious, homemade, raw, meat-based diet. A diet that only consisted of the foods that make sense for dogs to eat and without all that other complicated nonsense. Simply by removing processed dog food from her diet and replacing it with a highly nutritious, fresh, meat-based diet and making sure I did it correctly, Nina's excess fat melted right off in the no time. Now, there's one more thing that I did that was key to Nina transforming her life in just two weeks. I avoided the number one mistake people make when it comes to weight loss for dogs. This mistake is so common. It's something we've been taught for years. However, it's complete BS. You'll need to retune your BS detector for this one. And it's crucial you do. The number one mistake people make when it comes to weight loss for dogs is to focus on exercise. We hear this all the time for both humans and dogs that exercise is key for weight loss. Let me tell you, that's all a load of BS. And scientists agree with that. Nina, for instance, lost the excess fat without any added exercise. If you'd like to know why exercise is the number one mistake people make when it comes to weight loss for dogs, then check out the link below this video. Okay, take a deep breath. I understand if this maybe sounds like a lot to take on, though let me assure you once again that it may be simple and easy if you know what you're doing. I mean, it only took two weeks to transform Nina's life without added exercise or starving her on a low-fat diet. By taking care of the actual real cause of excess fat, just like Nina, dogs may lose weight and stay lean afterwards. It's not like other diets, even 
veterinary or prescription diets where you might need to restrict your dog's calories for the rest of your dog's life to the point where you feel like you're starving your dog. That's not something I, at least, would like to put any dog through anyway. And it's nothing like what I did with Nina. Listen, the point of all of this is that by doing this for Nina, I might have even extended her life by years. That means spending more time with this amazing creature. Even for dogs that are just a tiny bit overweight, this can have a huge impact. I would like you to know the details of how a dog can lose weight without counting calories or exercising that takes care of the actual real cause of excess fat so that more dogs out there can live a longer, healthier life. As it's simply too much to explain it all in this video, and as it's crucial you do this correctly, make sure you click the link below this video and watch my free presentation, which also includes the little known secret, even experts miss, that is the key to your dog's weight loss, and why feeding too much is not the cause of excess fat in the great majority of overweight dogs, and how to avoid what is the cause. If you dig your dog, then click on the link below to watch the presentation now so that you may enjoy having your furry best friend by your side for as long as possible. Do you know anyone with a furry friend who could benefit from all of this? Be awesome and do them a favor, share this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, write a comment if you like, and subscribe to my channel. Now click on the link below and remember to dig that dog.